This is a case study from one of the members of my course, Discover Your Color Style. Once you go through the video, if you want more information about the course, you can click on the link in the description of this video. So this is Meredith. She has dark hair and dark hazel eyes. Her hair is a very dark brown. In fact, she colors it and tells me that her natural hair color was even darker and that her hairstylist right now colors it just a tad lighter, which she's really not a fan of. She also um, has um, some gray in there that I would imagine that's the reason she might color her hair. So I don't know if she's thinking about growing it out and would, it would, if it would be like a salt and pepper or not. But nevertheless, right now, she has very dark hair, dark hazel eyes, and about an olive skin tone. Now, she feels very neutral, she, and she doesn't know what colors really work best on her because she doesn't know what to tell the hairstylist. Should she go cool or warm? And she's just confused. So we're going to walk through the three core colors of the course, and I'm going to um, use her photo specifically. Now I used this photo, I color adjusted it a little bit because it was a little too yellow from the indoor lighting. Um, but it's a really good photo and, and it's, the lighting's really good. And based on all the photos that she sent me, this is a very good representation of how she looks. She is wearing makeup, but that's okay. As you see these images that I, I pulled together for her, we're going to get very, very clear on the best colors for her. So let's look at the blushing colors first. Now the cards that you see next to her face are the signature co color cards, the signature blushing cards. And I went through all of them and I colorized her lips and put, uh, changed her robe to a matching color. So we get the full effect of what it would be like for her to choose this color card for her blushing colors and to see if it's right for her. And on the left here, you'll see the label of that card. So this is the Bright and Warm. I'm not gonna say anything at first. I want you to see all of these first. So this is the Bright and Warm. This is Bright, Warm, and Deep. This is Soft and Warm. This is Soft, Warm, and Deep. This is Bright and Cool. This is Bright, Cool, and Deep. Soft and Cool and soft, cool, and deep. There's no card for soft, cool, and deep, but I just darkened the colors that were from the soft and cool. Okay, now, here is my initial take on some of this stuff, and we're gonna go through some comparisons now so that you can see my thought process as to why I've chosen one specifically. And you may already have your opinion on what you think she looks best in. So first, I wanna compare the bright, cool, and deep and soft, cool, and deep. Now, I think that she actually looks beautiful in both, but I think that if we're talking about everyday colors and, and not having to think too hard about, is this going to look right on me? Is it too bright or is it too dark? I choose on the right, the soft, cool, and deep. I think she actually looks quite pretty in the bright, but more for like a special occasion if she wants to feel more dramatic. But for every day, the soft, cool, and deep looks perfect on her. And I hope you see what I see because she looks beautiful in both. One of the key takeaways here is the depth of the color that she requires in order for her to look balanced because her eyes are so dark and her hair is so dark. But let's keep going. This is the bright and warm on the left and bright, warm and deep on the right. I do not really love her in the bright and warm. Uh, everything feels a little bit too orangey on her a little bit too bright, but I like, I love her in the bright, warm, and deep. And I think it's because the colors are deep. And when you add black to a color, it does mute it slightly. And as we go darker, it flatters her more. So it really doesn't really matter if it's bright, warm, and deep, as long as it's, as long as it's deep. Now it is warm. It's not nearly as my favorite versus the cool but she can definitely wear it as long as her lipstick and makeup is warm. She has to balance out that warm top with warm makeup as well. Um, here is soft and warm versus bright and warm. Soft and warm is on the left, bright and warm is on the right. 
Um, there's not much difference, but she looks very, this is very, very bright on her here, and here's where it's a little bit more in harmony. And, and I like the, the soft and warm on her. There's bright and cool on the left and soft and cool on the right. And she definitely looks just better in the softer colors, in my opinion. I think she can go bright if she wants to be dramatic or it's a special occasion, but I like the softer tones better. I think this is beautiful on her. In fact, in her original photo, she has a soft and cool lipstick on, so maybe she already has an idea of what colors work well on her, but she just looks beautiful in these colors, even though they're not super deep. And then just for some comparison here, there's, there's soft and warm on the left and soft and cool on the right. I personally prefer the soft and cool. I just feel like everything, all her tones and her skin just sort of balance out. She can totally pull off warmer colors. This is why she feels neutral. And if you are someone that feels neutral as well, where you can wear a warmer red and it looks good, um, then they're gonna really benefit from going through this case study. This is why she feels, feels neutral. It's because she can wear some of these warmer colors. And what's gonna be really important for her is that if she loves some of the warmer colors, that she's gotta make sure that her makeup, and meaning her lipstick specifically, and maybe even a little bit of her blush, is in alignment with the clothes that she's wearing. Okay, so I personally prefer her in the soft and cool, but she can definitely wear that soft and warm. Here she is in the deep. We have warm, soft, warm, and deep on the left and soft, warm, and cool on the right. Again, I love, love, love her and the soft, cool lipstick, that deepness. She just is beautiful in those deep colors. Um, I, I, I think she can wear the warm as well. I, I don't, I'm, I have a preference. I prefer the cool, but if she loves those warm colors, especially a true red, oh man. Now, if you can wear true red, if you feel like you're neutral, but you can wear true red, that's not enough of, a, of an indicator of whether you're warm or cool. Uh, true red is a universal color. It looks good on everybody. And you have to just decide how bright you want to go with that, with that red. Okay. So she is soft and deep. Meaning if we just take away whether she's warm or cool, wearing those soft colors are in harmony with her and the depth of the color is the most important. She's going to always look beautiful in those deeper tones. She can go lighter, but I wouldn't go any lighter than this. Pastels are going to just wash her out completely. So any of those lighter colors are just are not going to work. And, and that also may be sometimes what causes confusion because you, you put on, say, a light pale blue and it doesn't look good and you wonder, well, maybe it's because I am warm. But no, I think just pastels in general aren't going, to, aren't going to work on her. She can wear bright and deep as a special occasion. So when we look at her in the bright, cool and deep and, and the bright and warm and deep, she looks stunning in both, but definitely more dramatic. And so that also has to do with your personality. If she really wants to be more dramatic on a daily basis, then the brighter colors are going to suit her. But if we're looking more for being in harmony for her, the softer colors are better. So she definitely is a little bit on that neutral side. And so let me give you some ways that she can wear the warm colors. So soft and warm, it's very important that if you wear the warmer colors, like oranges and yellows and that kind of a thing, that you stick to a warm lip. So here I have her in um, a soft muted orangey color. And then over here, more of a camely brown golden color. And I put on a warm lipstick on her to balance it out because it won't look right if she has a cool lipstick on. For soft and cool, which is my preference, we have a soft uh, purple, a soft blue, muted blue. I just love this color on her. And notice that her lips is, is a soft, deep, cool color. And just to show you that what I mean, on the left, she's wearing um, like a royal blue and, she's, and we have the cool lip. And on the right is that warm lip, the same warm lip that I have on her here that looks okay, but here with the cool colors doesn't work. So if she's going to wear colors on the cool side of the color wheel, she needs to uh, wear her cool lip. And if you're gonna wear colors on the warm side of the color wheel, you need to focus on the warm lip. Now, not everyone can be as diverse 
as she is. Uh, I think it's because of the fact that she's so deep and that she has kind of that olive skin tone. So for the record, I prefer cool. So for her lipstick, if you have the signature color cards, she would pull from the soft deck and she would use these two cards here for her lipstick colors and blush. And she can go, this is, this is red all the way to um, almost like a, a pinky purple. And those would all be very, very pretty on her, both as clothes and as lipstick and blush. And I have the numbers down here for the card. And in, on the back, this is the back of the card here. And here's the numbers. And the, just so you know, the numbers of the card are here in the lower left and on the back. So if you have those, if you have the cards, you can find those very quickly and have those for your lipstick colors, okay? If you're curious, the signature color cards, you can find those at colorfans.com under signature colors in the category. All right, let's continue on to the eye popping colors. The eye popping colors are the colors that are gonna make your eyes pop. They're, the, they're gonna pick up the colors in your eyes. So first I grabbed the uh, coffee brown and I put the deepest brown on her. No, I'm not really loving it. Maybe not with that cool lip. I put a warmer deep lip on and it definitely pulls her more together. Uh, it is more of a serious look for her. So um, a little bit more monochromatic. It's lovely. It really just depends on um, your mood. This is a very, very sort of uh, deep, serious look. I found the gray green cool hazel card and I love this card best that picks up her eyes. She, her eyes aren't necessarily just brown. They have all kinds of variations. And I, I kind of pick up these grays in there and these greens, even though the whole thing translates to dark brown. So here she is in a, in a charcoal gray with the cool lip. Um, here she is in, the, in a gray blue, which is my absolute favorite. It just seems to, I, I just love this on her, this, this gray blue. And then she can also even switch to like a really soft uh, gray green. So this card, she may not even thought to wear a card like this because everyone tells someone that with dark hair that they're a winter or that you know they, they're an autumn and they have to wear all these bright colors. But there are there are softer tones that you can wear that will give you uh, more of a quiet look. Okay, let's move on to the grounding colors. The grounding colors are the colors that are that match the deepest shade of your eyebrows and hair and it's it's a neutral typically not always but usually and so it's just a really it's really one of your best neutral so the first card i well the first color i tried was black and because her hair is so dark and because her eyes are so dark and her eyebrows are so dark and i really really do love her in black but it is a very serious and formal look so if she really feels like looking um very elegant and sophisticated black or you know we're going out for an evening or something like that uh, she would look stunning in black and a really really bold lip just just beautiful i tried the the deep chocolate brown again not my favorite but i want to show you what she might look like in warmer tones and then i used the cool brown card and i used the very very dark the darkest color here, as you can see, draped here in a cool lip. And it makes her eyes look cool brown. I love this card on her best. I just think it's very, very pretty as far as a grounding color. So for me, it's either this or, or black, honestly. So now that we've done all three core colors, you can see her here. Here are her lips. You can see that, that her look, the lipstick that she wore in the photo actually matches this mid color right here. So she can go a little bit warmer with the reds um, or, or this color here. And of course, if she wants to go even cooler, then there's that second card here that has the cooler tones on the lips. She can stay in this lighter range if she wants. The mid range here for every day is probably perfect. And then she can always go a little deeper, whether she it's it's matching her outfit a little better or she wants to feel just a little bit more dramatic, she can do that. And so these are the three core colors that I've chosen for her. Now, there, in the course, there is a background neutral lesson. Um, I would actually leave it white as her background neutral. I think she would be very, very striking and a very crisp, white blouse that um, would balance out some of these colors. So that even though she's soft, I think she would look fabulous in a crisp white blouse. Just give her a little bit of contrast and edge. 
The last thing I did for her, which is not on any lesson just yet, is hair color. Because she was talking to me about, uh, you know, should she go darker? Her stylist tells her that she's going to look older, or should she go lighter, etc. So for her, because she is so deep, I, you know, I personally think that she needs to stay deep and stay dark. I do not agree with the statement that it makes her look older. Uh, she's not in that a time of her life where she cannot stick with her current dark hair. So if she wants to stay dark, she should absolutely say stay, stay dark. I think it's her best option. If she wanted to go lighter, I would not go a light brown, maybe an auburn. But if she does that, she is shifting her color palette to warm, to soft, warm, and deep. And I, I'm, I don't love this because I like her in those cooler colors with the with the black hair, honestly. But um, you know, if she's looking for a change or she wants to change things up, she could totally go for a nice dark auburn, and then she'd have to shift her color palette to the soft and warms for sure. And then I also lightened it to a uh, an ashy brown. So if she wanted to go lighter, I would recommend that she kind of go for an ashy brown that you can see kind of looks almost it has like a grayish tint to it, and it sort of complements that cool brown card that I have. So um, I lightened it up. It's not it's not really black anymore. It's still dark enough for her, but it's more of like an ashy an ashy dark brown for her. So those are the things that she can play with. And I hope that just seeing it visually on her helps her. This is the kind of color analysis you're going to discover about your own colors in the course, Discover Your Color Style. This case study only covers the first three lessons of the course. There is still so much more information that will guide you through not only figuring out what types of colors are going to make you look amazing, that's going to help you design and create a signature color palette that you can use to edit your wardrobe and to shop knowing that the clothes that you buy are going to mix and match perfectly. What's special about this course is that it is customized for your specific coloring and tone and hair color, even if you've colored your hair. So whether you have brown skin, fair skin, blonde, red, or brown hair, black hair, you'll be able to customize your colors so that they are perfect for you. So click on the link in the description for this video and check out the course and see if it's right for you.